Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for episode 3 for season 7 of Outlander. I want to see what's going to happen with that explosion. You know Jamie and Claire are going to survive because we have more seasons to go. So we know they're not killed. But we did see a funeral taking place. They were carrying a coffin out. Everybody was heartbroken. Who was it that was killed in the fire? I'm assuming it was in the fire. Or could it have been Tom Christie's body coming back from being executed? Would he be buried in their, I don't know if it's their family cemetery or what have you, but would they be upset? Would, would they be upset the way they were over Tom Christie? Kind of don't think so. You know, sad, sure, certainly, but the way they were broken up, it was somebody else. Could it have been the old man or the old woman? I don't remember their names that were there that, uh, the one that helped them bury Alan, I think it was her, and they had gold that was hidden or something that, that they, that the, uh, the people that broke in were, were able to find. So I'm curious to find out who that is that, that was killed, who that is they're so upset about having died that they're burying. And then also, are we going to get to see Jamie meet his son? Well, not meet. He's already met him. He's known him for many years, but not as an adult. And it's certainly, the William doesn't know Jamie's his father. I'm curious to see if at some point down the road, he finds out that Jamie is actually his father. And what does that do to his status, his position as the Duke of Elmsmere, I think it is? Of course, if it were to become known publicly... He would lose that title, but if they keep it a secret, he will retain that title. Now, also, we have Brianna and Roger are in the 20th century. I don't know what year they were going to. I know they came back when they came back. It was 70, 71, 72, somewhere right around that time frame. So I'm curious to see if that's the time frame they go back to or has time advanced which I kind of think it probably has, because when Claire, back when they were going to the Battle of Culloden, when Claire went back, I don't remember how many years had gone by, two or three years had gone by in the 20th century, if I'm remembering correctly. She went back to the 1740s in 1945, it was right after World War II, when she came back, I think it was 1948. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think it was 1948 when she came back. So a few years had gone by. So I expect that's probably the case with Brianna and Roger as well. And from the previews, we saw that, that we are going to see them going up to Lollybrock in the future, in the 1970s or wherever it is they wound up. So that's going to be fun to see. Well, they're, they're going back to see where... You know, I'm just thinking about it. I don't think Roger was ever there when he went back in time to the 1700s when he first went back. I don't remember him going to Lollybrock, but I could just be forgetting that. So we have a lot to look forward to in this upcoming episode, and it's time to get started. Now, if you'd like to see my full-length reaction to this or any of the other shows or movies that I've reacted to or will react to, you can head over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash 31mike, and I'll leave a link to that down below in the description of this video. Now let's go ahead and jump into the episode. I don't know British vehicles, so I can't judge by the year by the, the van. If it was in the United States, I'd probably be able to tell you. What's this? Okay, what's that all about? Yeah, like I said in the last video, the last episode, kind of think I prefer some of the other versions of the theme song more than this one. My preference would be the very first one. Second season was okay. I liked the version when they first came to America. 
This one, just not sure I, I, I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> well, I guess he's getting acquainted with the 20th century. Now that car gives me 1980s vibes. We've been keeping it safe, but the dying to know what's inside. The bank said it's been in the vault for 200 years. Oh! I'm glad Marty's doing so well, and so glad you've come back. I would have liked to see them get up from the stones and make their way to Scotland. Huh. Musket ball? <laughs> April 1776. Not quite to the Declaration of Independence yet. My dear daughter, we are alive. Hmm. Well, we knew that. Oh, he passed out from the ether. Yeah, that's that's it for Both him. Your mother and I are safe and well, and we will always have a home as long as we have each other. Yeah. That's not going to do it. It's too fully involved. It's, it, they're not going to put it out with buckets. Well, I didn't see the, the, the woman and the husband. So it might have been them that died that they were so upset about. Yeah. Jamie knows, just let it go. And I'm sure this fire is CGI, or did they actually burn this set down? Or did they build another one that they burned down? If it's CGI, it's really good. Dead. So much for our bitchery. It looks like that scar on his over his eyebrow was a little bloody there. I wonder if they did that on purpose to kind of explain I think that. Papers never get anything right. Kind of looks CGI. Looks good, but looks CGI. You and your bloody matches. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because, Brianna, it was you. You caused a fire that they survived. Look at the date. Fire from the obituary didn't happen. So we actually did it. We changed history. Yeah, Claire couldn't change history at Culloden, but they changed it there. I still am not sure what year they went back to the future from. gold now they were arguing about that or they were jamie was a little bit surprised by that and the old man said it was none of his business I find this. Mm, what did he find like it back just willie Bob oh John's yeah lad. recognize his face from when he was here at the bridge does he recognize who his father is though it's a shame they never returned hmm. he seems to be hinting but I did see him again. In Wilmington. He's grown. Soldier. He must be proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he knows. What did you get? I saw you looking at him the same way you were looking at that portrait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and... What I remember he was a stubborn lad. He's a Fraser. Sure enough. I will never speak of a tussle. I'm sure it's not likely to happen, but I'd really like to see Jenny and Ian show up one day. There's something else. Had so. We looked everywhere for your Ichite. We haven't found them. Who? I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. I'm not sure who 
They had a cat, didn't they? Is that who they're talking about? I think they had a cat. Yeah, they had a cat. That must be who they're talking about. Oh, well, there's the old man. I kind of thought he was dead. This, Mr. Bug. Bug. It's funny, I was thinking about Jocasta just a couple of minutes ago. Dougal Mackenzie took one third and Hector Cameron another. I was the third man, taxman to Malcolm Grant. Somewhere you'll never find it. And he doesn't seem broken up, so I guess it wasn't his wife that was killed. Yeah, and there she is. It's all been for nothing, Adina. He's sending us away. What? There's no shame in what we've done. I'm no begging him to let us stay. No, sir. We've earned this. This is our time. Well, if they have a lot of gold, they can go live it up. He seemed a little a little more upset about being sent away than I kind of thought he would. Never find it right under our noses. Let him find what he's looking for first. <laughs> if you go behind him. Yeah. If he runs, stop him. Mr. Buck, I will speak with you. Hmm. I don't know. Was it him? Would he have tried to shoot? I guess to protect all that gold. Oh. Mrs. Buck? It was her. Well. She turned and shot at Jamie. I didn't care it was you. There's the gold. That must be who they were burying that they were all upset about. Kind of thought it might have been her, but I figured it was from the fire. But she tried to kill Jamie. Exactly, that's what I was just saying. Okay, here he comes. He got a gun with him. I'd have her taken to her rest with the proper observances. He seemed to be holding something behind his back. I'm wondering, has he got a gun? Is he going to join his wife? Is he going to try to kill one of them? Maybe it's just my paranoid brain thinking here. <laughs> Uh, Ian gonna tell him what happened? Mr. Bug. It was by my hand. That this woman of great worth has died. And it is a sorrow to me. When you've something worth taking, you'll see me again. Hmm. That I promise you. Hmm. Well, Mr. Bugs. Up there in age, I don't know how old he is, but in the 1770s, I don't know what the lifespan was or life expectancy was. Don't know that he's going to be around a whole lot longer. When do you think we should start building? Now that's something I've been meaning to speak with you about. Hmm. After the war, maybe? Oh, is he going to want to go back? Well, maybe we'll see Jenny and Ian. Just not the way I thought. I made a we promise were. to my sister long ago. I swore I'd bring young Ian back to her. That's what I mean to do. Although the man I bring back to her is not the lad who left. Hmm. God alone knows what they'll make of each other. Ian. Malibroch. Well, that makes sense because that chest that they got, that Brienne and Roger got, was in Scotland, not in America. I didn't think about that until just now. Leave in a few months' time. Once our affairs are in order. Hmm. I'll speak with the 
Well, that's going to be interesting. I was hoping to see them fight the revolution. Of course, they could always come back. God. Please. Let me be enough. Amen. So he's able to see the future, I'm, I'm guessing here. Walk up to the front door of our house. How Roger Mac was real. A wee brown haired woman opened it. <laughs> of course, that could have just been a dream. Did any of them call this woman by name? Aye. Roger Mac called her Fiona. Yep. That's, that's her name, isn't it? If I'm remembering right, Fiona. Just at the last, just before I awoke, there was a thing on the table. I didn't ken what it was. I'd never seen the light. The telephone? It had a, a thing on top, like a, a wee club. Yeah, the phone. Anyway, a knob on each end. It was tied to the box with a cord curled up on itself like a piglet's tail. <laughs> yeah, he can see the future. Reached out to pick it up. And that said, rang. I want to speak to Granda. It's telephone. Can talk to other people through it. Cause long distances. I wish we could call them. Well, that would be a long distance call, wouldn't it? Well, they've got a lot of gold. Oh, melting it down. That was the ball that was. It wasn't a musket ball. Yeah, it was a ball, a ball of gold. I think you'll find your parents. Much as you left them, you may come as a greater shock to them. He's not that much taller, am I? <laughs> no, but he's a little more Indian. How did you find this place? Which means somebody's yeah. going to find out about it. it Tim and I came upon it when we were hunting one day. It was a secret between us. He agreed to tell no one, not even his parents. But nor me. We lad and his granddad need at least one secret. <laughs> Here. Hmm. Murdered, most likely. Well, yeah, a... I kind of think we're liable to find Mother, out at some point, aren't we? Over here. Perfect place for hiding treasure. Yeah. Now, did he leave directions in the letters to? Brianna on how to get back to there. We've decided to leave the ridge and go to Scotland. He fears the forces of history may deprive him of a later opportunity. We've asked the Beards Lees to look after the site. Well, at least they're planning on returning. And I'm teaching Lizzie how to treat ailments with herbs and medicines in my absence. My dearest daughter, it seems strange to ask you to pray for the safety of a voyage, which will have been long completed by the time that you learn of it. But I ask it. Nonetheless. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing them back in Scotland now. I wish to tell you of the disposition of some property. Hey, yep, the gold. Held in trust by the Camerons for an Italian gentleman. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not going to remember where it is. If you should at some time have need of this property, tell him the Spaniard guards it. There are stories in Scotland where people talk about the lost Jacobite gold and Jem knows where it's hidden. They need to go ask him before he gets too old to remember. We won't ask him, will we? You need to. No, there's no need. I'm a little curious, though. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> before we leave... Lala Brock. You must always blood a blade so it can't just purpose. Hmm. Of course, back in the day, we would do that as kids. We become blood brothers. I can't imagine anyone would do that today, nowadays.
Have they told us what year this is? Like I said, the car looks to me to be the style of the, the 80s, but it could be 70s. I wish I could have seen it in the city. Yeah, I didn't think you'd you seen it. I loved it. Looking for someone. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. What are they looking for? What are they waiting for? Yeah. You know, it's silly. Definitely not silly to all. Oh, here comes somebody. Who is it? Oh, definitely time to go. Are we? Are you interested? Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, can they buy it? What well, they could use some gold, huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was interesting. They can go get that gold and buy it. Only thing is they can't write Jamie and Claire and tell them. Stop, wait! Yeah, I was just going to say something's going to happen here. Oh. Their cat. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you all right? Go now. Go home. He's just a cat. I, I had hopes. But at least it didn't die in the fire. You will always be enough. Hmm. From his prayer. Now let's see what's coming up next week. Should be dead. So should you. I've lost so much. Nothing is guaranteed. Your mother said, take care of our girl. And I feel as if I'm failing. You saved my life so I could fight another day. Today is that day, Mr. Fraser. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting there. Very interesting. Tom Christie is alive. And he's free. So he wasn't executed and he's not in prison. And something's coming up there where he's going to fight. He lived to fight another day. I kind of thought that the previews were going to show them in Scotland and we'd see Jenny and Ian or them going up to Lollybrock, something along those lines. It's fun seeing Roger and, and Brianna in the future in the in the 70s or 80s. Looking at the car that they were driving just makes me think of the 80s, but it could be late 70s. I don't think they said what year it was, but it just makes me think it's late 70s, maybe very early 80s. But I enjoy seeing the, the back and forth like we used to see in the second season when Claire was back in the future with Frank. And Jamie was at Ardsmuir and everything else that was going on after Culloden. So maybe we're going to do this again, back and forth for a little while before something happens that must bring them back together. Hopefully, because like I say, I want Roger and Brianna to come back or to be still in the series. And the best way to do that is to have them back with Jamie and Claire. So hopefully that's going to happen, but we'll see. Now, Mr. Mudd made a... Mr. Mud, not Roger Mud. Mr. Bug made a little bit of a threat there to, to Ian. And I'm wondering if they're going to play that out at some point. Or if that was just a throwaway thing for this episode and we're never going to hear from him again. Kind of thought they would at least mention Wendigo. Kind of wrap up that story. We know he was killed in the fire. But they didn't really even mention it. They didn't go into it at all. They just kind of let that 
fade away, which I understand. It, he's not integral to the storyline going forward. I just thought they'd wrap it up and we they would say, well, he was killed or take his body out or what, whatever. But not really necessary, I guess. And they mentioned Jocasta, which is really funny because I was just in my mind at one point when they were going through all of their belongings in the house as it was, after it was burned down. I was thinking to myself, you know, they could go to, to stay with Jocasta. We haven't seen her for a long time. And then just a few minutes later, she was mentioned. So funny, funny that that happened that way. And of course, I've been saying for a while, I think I even said it during this episode, that I'd really like to see Jenny and Ian again. So maybe we're going to get to that. Maybe we're going to get to see them. I was expecting, or not expecting, I was thinking it would be fun to see Jenny and Ian come to America looking for their son or maybe moving to America. But we're going back to Scotland, apparently. So that's going to be interesting, and I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully we're going to see Jenny and Ian. Last time we were there with Brianna, we didn't get to see Jenny. We did see Ian. And I think, if I remember right, somebody told me that the actress, I don't remember her name, the actress that plays Jenny had other commitments where she couldn't be there for filming. So hopefully that won't happen or didn't happen if they've already filmed it. Hopefully that that won't happen again and we'll get to see him. And that's going to be interesting in the next episode with Tom Christie. What happened there? I expected that he was going to be at least in prison for a little while awaiting a trial or he he pled guilty so why didn't they execute him something happened and i guess we'll get the explanation next week and i'm wondering if he if he knows and i guess we'll find out that alan is dead yeah he probably doesn't because that he was killed and then buried on uh, in secret so are they going to tell him that might not be a wise thing to do but it's going to be interesting to see it play out So that was episode three, season seven, moving along through the season. Gosh, we're almost halfway through this part of the season. And then we have that break. I don't know how long the break is going to be until we get to the second half of the season. But it sure goes by fast. We're almost halfway through this half of the season already. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you have any thoughts or comments about this episode, please leave some comments down below. If you know what year this is that Roger and Brianna are in, for instance, leave a comment down below. Let me know what year they're in. Because if they've said, I've just either missed it or just it went over my head and I just didn't even pay attention. So if you know what year they're in, let me know. Is it late 70s, mid, late 70s, very early 80s? I'm just curious. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell too so that you'll be notified when I upload each new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on episode number four.